So everybody's favorite event is back. It is the Moonshot event, and it's time to hit some tanks, dude. And it's all bronze pitchers this time around. They're all righties. So, I mean, if you want, stack up on your left-handed bats. But for me personally, I'm just gonna use my normal lineup for the most part, and then I'm gonna use some of the guys I need to unlock that really bad Anthony Rizzo card for the player of the month set, but I need it for the XP, not because I actually want the card itself. But we're gonna be taking on a guy who's gonna be pitching Bob Feller in this first game. I mean, we've got our normal guys still going for us. Jazz Chisholm, I'm really close to getting parallel five. Mike Trout's obviously already super factored as well. And folks, if you haven't yet, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more LMB Twins to the show here on the channel. We're like 120 subscribers away from 10,000, so hit that subscribe button down below for more as we're going to get hit immediately with Jazz Chisholm. Okay, so we're going to have a runner on first for Mike Trout. We... Okay, we send Jazz. He's going to get thrown out and Trout strikes out as well on an 0-2. That does not happen often. I barely strike out with Trout. Instead, we do right there. So we're going to build back here with Josh Bell getting a base knock into right field. It will be a two out single for him. Bringing up to the plate, a guy we're batting for now, Jock Peterson, of course, still trying to get that Rizzo card and Jock's going to walk. So runners on first and second, two gone for Troy Gloss. I do still kind of struggle with this card. We had him in a BR run and he's going to strike out right there against a bronze pitcher. Okay, so we go to the bottom of the first. He's got Luis Robert up for him. We've got James Kapirian. Kaparian, I, dude, I've never known how to say that dude's name. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Anyways, we're gonna get Robert to fly out into center field to Mike Trout. Jazz Chisholm comes up and more of the same. He'll fly out into center as well with Trout. I mean, we're playing at ship it for now just because I want to hit some bombs for the video's sake. Normally I'll play at Coors, but I mean, I know Coors is kind of juiced as well, but ship it is just... I mean, come on, it's a little league field. So we're gonna go to the top of the second. Taylor Ward, this card sucks, dude. My seven and eight hitters are just straight up bums. Taylor Ward's so bad. I, again, I need to use this so I get the Rizzo, but that dude just never gets hits. And speaking of never getting hits, Michael Young, man. I mean, at least it's in the ball hard right there. But again, LMB 22 the show, line outs for days. But man, that card's just so bad too. We go to the bottom of the second, two on the inning for Corey Seager. He's gonna get popped out. And yeah, we're playing Taylor Ward at catcher because we can, but... I mean, man, that card hitting wise is horrible. Thankfully, though, our opponent can't hit either. So here you go. I mean, we're going to get Joey Votto up first on a 1 1. Pinch hitting Votto in the right field. That's way up and way out of here. Actually, Votto is a serviceable option in this event, considering you can only hit right handed pitching. And Votto, again, can't hit lefties, but he can destroy righties. So we'll take it. We're up 1 0. Jazz Chisholm now on the empty count. You like Jazz? Deep center field. Out of here. It's going to be 2 0 as Jazz Chisholm's going to go yard after the Joey Votto home run. Mike Trout now in the 2 0, hitting one into right center. I don't know why, but recently I've been struggling with Trout. Like I was up to like 500 with him earlier, and now we're back down to 450. Yeah, we're slumping with the best card in the game. Not good. One gone for Josh Bell, and Josh puts a right into that sinker. Deep right center, way up, way out of here. Josh Bell. I mean, now I have Frank Thomas, but I'm going to play Frank Thomas at first and play Josh Bell in left field just because I love the swing on this Bell card. He goes 438 feet in a deep right center. Obviously, we're not playing Frank Thomas today because we've got Jock Peterson. Peterson going righty lefty every single time. He'll take one deep in right field. Four to nothing is now our score. As now to the plate, it will be Alex Dickerson. Dickerson's gonna hit one right field. I don't know why I just cut out a Troy Gloss home run, but apparently I did. It didn't fit my narrative of Troy Gloss being bad, all right? So we're up five nothing. Taylor Ward's up on the O, and oh my goodness, he did something. Taylor Ward left field, that's out of here. Six nothing is now the score. Michael Young comes up and Young hits one to center field as well. Oh my goodness, Michael Young got a hit too. All right, you know it's ball game when Michael Young and Taylor Ward are getting hits for us. Okay, it's six nothing, still two gone. And now Joey Votto, we batted around to get back to the pinch hitting spot and Votto hits one in the right field. So now Jazz Chisholm will get his second opportunity in this inning as well as we're gonna go take third, by the way, with, of course, Michael Young. So here comes Jazz on the OO. He still got Drew Stricken Ryder in the game pitching for him. And Jazz Chisholm. Okay, that bothers me picked up first base, but it's all right. We are up 6 0 as we go to the bottom of the third, trying to close this one out with Tanner Rainey. He's got JT Real Muto up, and Real Muto takes one at deep center field, looking like Tanner Rainey in real life. I mean, my goodness. JT Ramuto to center field's gonna make it six to one. It's all right though. Hopefully we don't blow this lead. As Byron Buxton's gonna come up on the 0-2. Swag and miss. Tanner Rainey gets him on the slider. We're an out away. Luis Roberts, the batter, hitting one in the right center field. Mike Trout ranging to his left, and he will put him away. That will do it. 6-1 is your final. We'll win this first moonshot game. We're gonna play a couple more here as well. But we win the first one, six to one. On to the next. Taking on a guy who's gonna be pitching um JT. All right. 
His team's not great. We should be able to get the win. We're back at home, so we're going to be playing at Ship It again. Actually, yeah, I was on the road last game, but we are going to be playing at Ship It a lot. I'm choosing that as my home field for now. Trey Turner's up the plate on the OO. Easy ground out to Michael Young, but of course, Michael Young just decides to take all damn day. So Trey Turner is going to be on. Corey Seager now comes up on the OO. Going to hit one to center field. There is Trout to put him away. One gone now in the inning for his three-hole spot, which will be Jose Ramirez. J-Ram on the OO is going to get hit. Great. I can't hit with J-Ram in this game, by the way. Like, I bought the card because I needed it for the AL collection. I tried using him. He's not very good. I don't know why. I just, I never have been all that great with him. Christian Yelich's supercharged card is going to pick up a hit in the right field. We... We play that stupid. We're going to throw it into home. So runner's going to be on second and third with still one out. It's a one nothing game for him. Cody Bellinger comes up now and Cody hits one to left field. Josh Bell is going back and Bell will make the play, but that should be deep enough. Of course it will for a sacrifice. Five. We're going to try to get the guy at third, but the throw by Bell is offline. So he's still got another shot here up by two on the two one with Cedric Mullins hit one to center field. Mike Trout will barely have to move out there. So we're down by two, but again, playing a game at ship at field against bronze pitchers. I think we should be fine. Let's go put up some runs now in the bottom half of the inning. So leading it off is Jazz Chisholm, and Jazz is going to hit one into left field. That ball is going to get down. Chisholm should have extra bases with his 95 speed. We're going to definitely try for it, and yeah, Jazz is going to be there easy, not even a throw being made. So Chisholm's on the leadoff double. Now up Mike Trout. Can we finally find our groove again with Trout? There you go. In the left field, that ball is going to get through. Will we send Jazz to the plate? We will. Jazz is going to be safe at home. Trout in at second. Yes, he will. It's now two to one, and now we've got Josh Bell up with a runner in scoring position. Josh in the center field. That one gets down trout rounding third he'll be home easy we'll keep josh bell at first base but this one is now tied up at two and still no outs in the inning jock peterson now on the 0-1 jock in the left center i think that one's getting down it will jock peterson's gonna be on with extra bases josh bell going to third jock in a second runners on second and third with still no outs we will now bring to the plate Troy Gloss. Here comes Gloss on the oh, oh hitting one up the middle. It gets through. Peterson dives back to second, but we'll take it. It's fine. He'll stay at second as well. It's three to two. Troy Gloss with the RBI single. Let's hit some home runs, though. It's the damn moonshot event, not the singles. I mean, okay. Perfect, perfect, up the middle. There goes Alex Dickerson. It will now be four to two. Assuming Jock comes home safely, he will. Again, though, can we hit that home run? I mean, these singles are cool and these perfect perfects are nice, but I mean, it's a moonshot event. We'll take it though. Taylor Ward, any Taylor Ward hit I can get, I'll be happy with. Ward is going to bring another run in. It'll now be five to two as we keep the line moving. Still no outs for Michael Young. Let's see if Young can get a hit. Oh, perfect, perfect for him as well. Yeah, you know it's bad when Michael Young's picking up base knocks. Six to two is now the score. Like I've considered bringing back Corey Seager instead of using Michael Young, but here comes Joey Votto. All nine spots in the order get hit and oh, he's going to quit. But we really sent nine batters to the plate. They all got on. We're going to win this one 92. I don't give a damn about the rage quit. We'll play our final game here, taking on the San Francisco Dirty Birds. He'll be pitching Jordan Hicks, and you're going to see Hicks a lot in this event, at least for today, because Hicks is playing up, I think, to an 81 overall. If you get in parallel and all that, he can play all the way up to like an 85, which is a diamond, right? So you're going to see a lot of Jordan Hicks. Expect a lot of fast fastballs and a lot of fast sinkers as well with Hicks in that quick delivery. But Josh Bell, two outs, is going to pick up a double. So we'll have a runner on second base for Jock Peterson. On the 2 0 jock. It's going to get popped out on that sinker away. That'll do it for the top of the first. We will now head to the bottom of the first inning. We're going to be pitching Shane Boz. I think it's Shane Boz, right? Yeah. Okay. Mickey Mantle's up on the 1 0 2 gone in the inning, and he'll pop out to Jazz Chisholm. So Shane Boz goes 1 2 3 in the bottom of the first. Let's go to the top of the second. Let's try to put some runs on the board again. We're at Chorus Field. Let's hit a home run, right? I mean, Troy Gloss up the middle. You know, I'll take the singles, but. Looking for some dingers, dude. All right, Gloss is going to be on the leadoff single. Alex Dickerson now comes up on the empty count. Dickerson up the middle. Ball's batted by Loisga, the pitcher. But I think everyone's going to be safe. And now Loisga overthrows the first baseman. So Love Runners on second and third now. All right, we'll take it. Still none gone in the inning. And now we've got both runners in scoring position for Taylor Ward. He's back up to 200. Ward in the right field. And the ball's getting down. It will. All right, we'll take it. It's going to score one. We have to hold the other runner at third. But Taylor Ward picks up yet yeah, another base hit. It's one to nothing. And now here comes Michael young. I mean, good luck, right? Okay, of course. I mean, that's on me for swinging at that pitch, and it's probably going to be a double play. It is? All right. So, Young doesn't get his RBI, but still, it's going to be 2-0 with Joey Votto coming up, and Votto mashes right-handed pitching. Deep left center field. That ball will not get out, but it will be a ground rule double for Joey Votto, bringing Jazz Chisholm to the plate, and Jazz is going to chop one to the second baseman. That'll do it for the top of the second, but we have taken that 2 to nothing lead. Let's go to the bottom of the second. Lawai is going to now pitching for us, and Rafael Devers is going to hit one on the ground at 2 Jazz Chisholm. Bro, you got diamond defense. 
You're parallel four and you're gonna, okay, he's gonna boot it. So one gone for Gary Sanchez, the runner on first, and Gary's gonna get popped out into shallow center field. Hopefully Jazz can make this play this time. Okay, he will. Two gone now. Let's try to get out the inning. Matt Olson's the hitter on the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, against right-handed pitching. That's tough. Jonathan Lewis is going to get taken yard. Matt Olson is going to go deep. It'll now be 2-2 two to two here in the bottom of the second. Cattell Marte now comes up on the 2-2 two, two count. Marte into shallow right center, or left center, excuse me. Josh Bell's going to make the play as we go to the third inning. All not enough at two. Anyone's game right now. Mike Trout on the empty count. That one's way up, and I think it's out of here. Yes, it is. 3-2. to two. Mike Trout gives us the lead, the best card in the game. Super fractured. And now let's try to add on Josh Bell on the 0-2. Two. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Leave a slurp for Josh Bell. Takes it deep center field. Four to two is now our lead. Trying to add on. Still no outs in the inning. Jock Peterson now comes up. New pitcher in the game. It's not going to matter. Jock going to line one into center, I think. Did he not catch that? It looked like he caught it, but apparently he didn't. We'll take it. It'll be a single. Alex Dickerson now comes up. Perfect, perfect. Alex Dickerson center field. Really, I mean, come on, get us that Anthony Rizzo card. Again, I don't want to actually use the card, but need it for the XP in the collections. There's a shot for Alex Dickerson, his third home run with us. 451 feet off the bat. We go to the bottom of the third. We're pitching out with Michael Fulmer, trying to get out this game. That'll be the second out the inning right there. Jazz Chisholm over to Jock Peterson. Two gone for one. Soto runners at the corners. And, oh, okay. Soto's going to go deep right field. That one's going to get off the wall. Dickerson is there, but it's going to make it a 6-3 to three game, and it will bring the tying run to the plate. So, actually, a huge spot in this game now for our pitcher in Michael Fulmer. Rafael Devers up on the 2-2, two -two and, okay, he's going to strike out. So, Fulmer sets him down. And, folks, that will do it for our Moonshot video here today on the channel. Thank you all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for some more Diamond Dynasty here on the channel. We'll probably get some ranked seasons coming up this weekend, so be on the lookout for that. Folks, thank you all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button again as we're on that road to 10,000 subscribers. And Mava, forever.